Hi, Math 65. This is the video for lesson 120. This is our last lesson. I hope you all are super duper excited about that. This is it. All we have left after this is our final on Monday, April 27th. And that's it. We did it. You guys have completed Math 65, and I could not be more proud of you. What a what a great, great year it has been. Um, it has been such an honor to get to teach with you guys. As some of you I've had for two years, and man, I am y'all are the smartest kids I know. All of you are in this class, and I just I look so forward next year to hearing from Miss Razor how y'all just blow her away with how smart you are. Because I know you've done that to me a million times. Um, blown me away with how many times you knew the answer. All I was going to do was explain it to you. And you were all like, hey, we already know this. <laughs> so anyway, so this is it. Lesson 120. So let's get started and knock this out. Because I'm betting a lot of you are ready to be done. <laughs> so this is scheduled. Oh, it's in page 617 in your textbook. And it's located, uh, scheduled for, look at that, I can't even get my words right anymore. It is scheduled for Thursday, April 23rd. And so this is our last class day, per se, together. And then we'll have a final on Monday, April 27th. And you're done then, totally done. Okay, multiplying mixed numbers. Let's look at that. So when we multiply mixed numbers, we have, in this case, we have a mixed number and we have just a fraction. We have to turn our mixed number into, back into an improper fraction to be able to do this properly. It's a whole lot of proper. We have to turn our mixed number back into an improper fraction to do this properly, but whatever. Okay, let's do that. So we know that we take 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9 over 2. And we're going to multiply that times 1 over 5. When we multiply fractions, I like to write them horizontally. So I can multiply my numerator up here and my denominator down here and see it better. So let's do that. My numerator, 9 times 1 is 9. My denominator, 2 times 5, is 10. So my answer to 4 and a half times 1 fifth is 9 tenths. Okay? So we just change those mixed numbers over into improper fractions. All right. So 3 times 2 and 1 third. So let's change 2 and 1 third. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7, and my denominator stays the same of 3. And I'm going to multiply that times 3, remembering that 3 is a whole number, and any whole number is technically over 1. So we can write it over 1. Okay, so 7 times 3 is 21. Divided by, uh, divided by, excuse me, that's my numerator. The fraction bar does mean divided by, but that's not what I'm doing right now. 3 times 1 is 3. So now I look at it as a division problem. 21 divided by 3, which I know is 7. Whenever I end up, this is fraction rule number 1, whenever I end up with my answer in an improper fraction, which this is, my numerator is greater than my denominator, I should turn it into a mixed number or whole number. In this case, it's a whole number. Okay? One more problem. Now, this one is a mixed number times a mixed number, so I'm going to turn them both into improper fractions. Okay? So let's do that. One and one half. I don't know if y'all just heard Lincoln scream. Things are going great outside, apparently. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3 over 2. Okay, now I'm going to change this into an improper fraction. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 3 is 7. Okay, so I'm going to multiply 3 over 2 times 7 over 4. I start with my numerators. 3 times 7 
That's 21. 2 times 4 is 8. Now, this is fraction, the same fraction rule. I have an improper fraction that I need to turn into a mixed number. So I can come over here if I need to, and I can divide 21 divided by 8. If you can do it in your head, go ahead and do that. If not, we'll do it this way. So 21 divided by 8, the closest I can get without going over is 2. 2 times 8 is 16. 21 minus 16 is 5. So I take my remainder over my divisor. So the answer is 2 and 5 eighths. Okay? So your practice problems are on page 618. And as a bonus for you guys watching this video, and some of you poor babies for having me for two years, that is your practice problem A. And let's see, I think I did another one. Did I not? Oh my goodness. I can't believe I only did one. All right, bonus, let's do one more together because that was mean of me to only do one. Let me get a sheet of paper. I thought I did more. So I'm gonna do, let's pick F. Let me at least do two with you, okay guys? So I have one sixth times two and five sixth. So my one sixth is good to go. I can just copy it down because I don't need to change anything on that. It's already a fraction. Two and five sixths is my mixed number that I need to change to a fraction. So six times two is 12, plus five is 17. So that's my numerator and my denominator stays the same. Okay, so now let's go through and multiply. One times 17 is 17. Six times six is 36. So I have to look at it and see, can I reduce this? Well, the only thing 17 is divisible by, if you remember, it is only divisible by one and 17. If you remember, that's called a prime number and 36 isn't divisible by 17. So this should be my answer, okay? So that is your practice problem for, that is letter F. So now you have two of them done, so you only have four more to go. All right, guys, that is the end of your lessons for Math 6-5. You've done it. Congratulations, and you'll have your final on Monday, and you'll do great. Way to go, guys. Enjoy your summer.